All right, I'll open up our unit uh, zero, and I actually have that as unit zero, and I probably should change that to unit one, right? I'm sorry. So that's our unit one notes. No, that's our unit zero notes, my mistake. I was right. Uh, so I'm gonna open that up. And this is where we left off, guys. Way down at the bottom, much like our things that we were just doing on the board. Okay, some of these function notation, things where we're plugging numbers in or X and just making sure that we know where to plug in the right numbers and what part to simplify, okay? All right, so for today, when we add on to this, this will be the next and last section that we'll do is going to be we're going to do some simplify polynomials. So when we're in, we've already done this, but not maybe the way that it's going to look. So when we simplify polynomials, I'm going to write down a polynomial is just something that looks like uh, x minus three. That's a polynomial. Let's say that big A is equal to x minus three, and I'm going to write big B is equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. And uh, I'll do a C also here. All right, let's say big C will be uh, 2x minus 1. All right, so for our polynomials, our example might look something like this. They might say, I, guys, I want you to simplify uh, for B minus 3A. So what this means, it means is that I'm going to take this B and plug it in here in parentheses. And I'm going to take A and plug it in here in parentheses. And I'm just going to rewrite the problem. So it's going to be four. And then in parentheses, I'm writing this thing. So four times two X squared minus three X plus one. Okay, that's the four B part. And then minus three, and now for A, I'm gonna plug this in parentheses, X minus three. So I just basically rewrote, you know, four B, instead of B, I wrote this, minus three A, instead of A, I wrote that. So this is kind of a, a short way for somebody to get you to write out the problem. But now we have to do it. So remember, we have something in front of the parentheses, which means we're going to distribute that four. So I'm going to do four times that, times that, and times that. So that would be eight x squared. Wouldn't it be eight x squared minus three x So yeah, it's gonna be eight x squared. Okay, so four times two, that's eight x squared minus 12 x, four times the negative three x, and then plus four, four times one. All right, not done yet. I still have to do, you know, all this stuff on the right. 
So when you do that stuff on the right, remember the negative three gets distributed to negative three X. And be real careful, negative three X, I'm sorry, negative three times negative three is positive nine. Okay, so I distributed everything. And now I'm gonna combine the like terms. So uh, what do I got? 8x squared, right? That's the only squared. I've got negative 12x minus 3x. That's going to be negative 15x. And 4 plus 9 is 13. And that's our answer. Okay, so the key is kind of setting it up how it's being asked. All right, let me write another example. So let's say we wanted to do, uh, how about two A squared. So to do that, remember A is X minus three. So I'm gonna take X minus three and plug it in for A. That's gonna be two and in parentheses X minus three squared. So now my X minus three squared this is not x squared minus nine, or you can't just square both of those. We have, that's a FOIL question. Okay, this is gonna be a FOIL. It's gonna be x minus three times x minus three. Because remember, something squared means that times itself. All right, so let me multiply these guys first here. So I'm gonna do X squared. And on the outside, because I'm foiling, it's gonna be minus three X. And on the inside is also gonna be minus three X. And then plus nine. So now I can do a couple of things from here. I can distribute the two, or I think it's easier if we combine our like terms on the inside first, because I know that these two are like terms. So I'm gonna do two and then parentheses x squared minus six x, because the negative three x minus three x would be minus six x and then plus nine. And now I will distribute the two and we'll be done. That's gonna be two X squared minus 12 X plus All right, I got one more for you, but are there any questions on this before I move on? It's a similar problem. Okay. All right, so looking back up here, I'm going to do our next and last problem will be C times B. Going to do C times B. So now I got to look back here. Uh, I don't even remember what C was. C was 2x minus 1. 
So I have 2x minus 1. And b is 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. So I get 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. And now I'm going to multiply those in just a second. I think it's a second to write that down. This is like a FOIL question. It's kind of FOIL on steroids because we have more terms. But we're doing the same idea. So I'm going to take 2 and multiply it by this guy, this guy, and this guy. And then I have to take negative 1 and multiply it by this guy, this guy, and this guy. All right, so here we go. 2x times 2x squared is going to be 4x to the third. And 2x times negative 3x will be minus 6x squared. And 2x times 1 will be plus 2x. And now I got to do the same thing with the negative 1. So I'll do negative 1 times 2x squared is going to be minus 2x squared. And negative 1 times negative 3x will be plus 3x. Negative 1 times 1 will be minus 1. All right, long and ugly, but we can do this. I just have to combine like terms and we're done. So we have 4x to the third. There's no other x to the third. Now for my x squared, I have uh, negative 6x squared and negative 2x squared will give me negative 8x squared. Well, my x's, I have 2x plus 3x is going to give me 5x. And minus 1. All right, any questions on any of those, guys? <clears throat> 